Now, I've always been rather keen on meatballs. I really have all types. And these chicken ones, this chicken and sage and pine nut, are particularly nice. Actually, a, a guy that worked for me, Rufus Daniels, gave me this recipe. Well, he, he didn't give me the sauce recipe, he gave me the meatballs and he said he often cooked them at home. And so he should, because they are bloody beauty. First of all, what I've done here, just sort of out of interest, because I'm making an eggplant and tomato ragu, and all I've done there is I've cubed some eggplant, about half a large one, and I've fried it until they're tender. Because if you put them in the sauce when it's not pre-cooked, it comes out as sort of tough and chewy and revolting. Yes, that's what it comes out like. And I've got one and a half large onions here, which I've chopped finely. Now this is for the sauce and the meatballs. Do you call chicken balls meatballs? I suppose you do, don't you? And to that I will add three cloves of garlic. So we just saute those, because as I said, this is for the meatballs and for the ragu as well. What I've got there, you can see that, is 750 grams of minced chicken, 30 grams of pine nuts, which I have just browned, and a couple of good tablespoons of chopped sage and a couple of good tablespoons of chopped parsley. Just do them together, don't do them separately, don't worry about that. A little bit of sambal in there as well, and then we put about a third of that mix in there, maybe, maybe half. To that, I will also add another half spoon of sambal. I will also add 800 grams of canned diced tomatoes. About half a cup of chicken stock, teaspoon of brown sugar, bay leaf or two, good splash of balsamic salt. And I'll put some salt in the meatballs too. And I'll do exactly the same with the pepper in both of them. While I'm at it, a little bit of tomato paste. Not too much, just to give it a bit of oomph. You just mix that up and we're going to cook that at a reasonably rapid simmer. I've forgotten one of the main ingredients, the eggplant. Now it's in. So just put some oil on the bottom of a baking tray or sheet or whatever you've got, just so that meatballs don't stick. All right, just straight into the oven, 180, 200 degrees, something like that. High shelf, so they seal quickly. And yeah, 10 minutes, I reckon. Yeah, 10 minutes, that's about right. All right, a couple of variations with these meatballs. First of all, I'm just making a harissa yogurt, which is just yogurt, of course, and harissa. Now, what a shock, harissa and yogurt, but a little bit of lemon as well, and a little bit of coriander. Now, this is quite a fun dish, actually. I think you'll enjoy it. I do it sometimes, just when I'm feeling like something a bit, a bit simple. So some coriander in there, just mix that up. As much or as little harissa as you like. I put a little bit there, and I've just used stuff store-bought, I think you call it. And what I've also got, now this is the funny thing, if I also got some sweet chilli sauce, you know, the Asian one, the speckled one. I know that sounds weird, but you try it. I promise you, it works. We've got our tomato and eggplant ragu ready. We should have our meatballs ready. Yeah, they look good. You can get a bit of colour on them if you like, but they're nice and firm. The colour's up to you. I like them so that they, they're not tough and chewy, which they can be if there's too much colour on them. So these are cooked. So we just toss that there. And I said to you, I know it sounds weird, the sweet chilli sauce. It's a real weird mix. One of my staff did this years ago. And they just did it for themselves. And then I said, what are you eating there? And they said, oh, try it. It's, it's actually quite nice. So I had to try and I thought, oh, that's rather interesting. So that's where it came from. Some coriander on the top. That's a bit of fun, that. Then we start looking at the real one, which is the one that I intended doing here. So this is with the eggplant ragu. Now this is for two, so I hope you're hungry. Two generous portions. And on top of that, somebody just wrote to me the other day and they said, we finally found some pecorino. We live in the country and none of the shops have pecorino. And I think it was IGA got in some for us, which is very nice of them, isn't it? And they said, what a beautiful cheese. Oh, well, I agree. So on top of this, a nice generous amount of pecorino. And there we have our chicken meatballs with an eggplant and tomato ragu. And I know that it's chicken, and you'd say to yourself you'd serve a white wine with that. But I think, to be fair, because if the tomato we sauce, you know, which is quite robust, a good Shiraz from the Clarin Vale, and this black chook, I think now I can be so right, and somebody I'm sure will tell me that I am, didn't Ben Riggs used to make this? Now, Ben Riggs, to me, is one of the great winemakers of Australia. He's from McLaren Vale, and I think he used to make this, but I don't know. 
and I could be wrong, but anyway, it's a bloody good wine and it'll go beautifully with that eggplant and tomato ragu. Enjoy, guys. <laughs>